Institute for Energy Securities, IES, and the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers, Ghana, COPEC, have faulted government for increasing the energy sector levy to raise 800 million CDs, while the country loses an average of 1.62 billion CDs annually through fuel smuggling. They are therefore demanding that the government rather mobilizes revenue through blocking fuel smuggling and other ingenious means. The energy sector levy, ESLA, accrued 3.19 billion cities in 2018. Government has proposed a 3.85% increase. When approved by parliament, it will translate into an increase of 20 pesos per liter of fuel and 90 pesos per gallon. A policy and research analyst at the Institute for Energy Security, IES, Megdad Mohammed, outlined the effect of the increment on the economy. For an industry who rely on let's say thousand gallons a week for their operations, it means that you are adding about uh, almost two thousand, three thousand, four thousand Ghana cities on their cost of production. It will mean that if they are not able to sustain themselves, they will have to lay off some some Ghanaian workers in one way or the other. Which then comes back to who are you trying to help by bringing in more measures which burdens the Ghanaian? Executive Secretary of the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers Ghana, COPEC, Duncan Amwa is of the view that government is resorting to the easiest way of mobilizing revenue. So indirectly, what the finance minister's upward you know, review of taxes on petrol is seeking to do is to increase fuel prices, is to increase cost of food, increase cost of goods and services, increase cost of transportation, increase generally cost of everything in Ghana. The country loses on the average 1.62 billion cities annually through the smuggling of petroleum products. Government intends to raise between 700 million and 800 million cities as additional revenue from the 3.85% energy sector levy increase. IES and COPEC expect government to find more effective and efficient ways and sources of raising revenue. The least he could have done was to redraw some of the taxes and go and look for the revenue from the fuel smuggling program. Whilst the government is targeting 700 million cities, we allow 1.6 billion to go into individual pockets because they bring fuel through unapproved routes. Taxes are incident on the product when it is sold within the country. That is when we place our taxes on it. Because there's a tracker in the vehicle, it proves that you drove to Ouagadougou and came back, but you drove an empty truck after you have sold it here. It will mean that government lost over here. There's a need for uh, government to relook at tightening the news around some of these uh, loopholes where some people are benefiting from monies which should be going to the states. COPEC is set to petition parliament to reject the proposed energy sector levy increase.